Agricultural Crop Production Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Agricultural Crop Production Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Module 4, Part 2. Our topic is Apply Safety Measures in Plant Operations. Determine time for safety measures in line with farm operations. Determine time for safety measures in line with farm operations. Agriculture is one of the most dangerous sectors. It can involve exposure to numerous hazards such as toxic pesticides and fertilizers potentially dangerous machinery, and extreme weather with the risk of health problems such as cancer, respiratory diseases, and injury. In order to achieve sustainable agricultural growth, the productivity of the workforce should be raised. This can be achieved by providing agricultural workers, their families, with the means to meet their basic needs, with access to adequate working and living conditions, as well as protecting their health and welfare, and promoting the protection of the environment in which they work and live. A farmer should apply safety measures all the time in line with farm operations to safeguard him or her during the performance of his task and to prevent accidents to happen anytime. He should consider the right time in performing tasks and be aware of the consequences of working beyond regular working hours. Here are the suggested working time and possible hazards that a farmer may expose to. Task Land preparation using four wheel tractor. Suggested working time is 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. The potential hazards are heat stress, heat stroke, heat rush. Circulatory, hypostatic heat, syncope, heat exhaustion, or dehydration. Heat cramp, noise pollution, mechanical hazard, skin disorders, or disease. Application of fertilizers. Suggested time is 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Potential hazards are chemical poisoning, skin allergy or irritation, respiratory illness, and difficulty in breathing, and skin burn. Spraying of farm chemicals. Suggested working time is 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Potential hazards are chemical poisoning, skin allergy or irritation, respiratory illness, difficulty in breathing, and skin burn. Irrigating the field. Suggested working time is 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. Potential hazards are falls, slips, and drone. Harvesting. Suggested working time is 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Potential hazards are cuts, mechanical hazard, heat stress, heat stroke, heat rush, circulatory hypostatic heat syncope, heat exhaustion, dehydration, heat cramp, manual handling. Pavement drying. Suggested working time is 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Potential hazards are heat stress, heat stroke, heat rush, circulatory hypostatic, heat syncope, heat exhaustion, dehydration, heat cramp, while handling ergonomic hazard. Heat-related illnesses in farm operations. First is the heat stroke. It is the most dangerous heat-related illness. It can be fatal if not treated swiftly. A heat stroke may occur when an individual has been working for a sustained period in hot conditions. Safety measures. First, immediate and rapid cooling is required, preferably by immersing victims in chilled water or wrapping them in wet sheets. B. Fanning to accelerate cooling is also recommended. Next is heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion occurs in connection with dehydration and may develop into heat stroke. Safety measures. Victims should be taken to cooler surroundings for rest, preferably in prone position. 
Next is administer fluids to drink and kept at rest until the body's water balance is restored. Heat cramp. Heat cramp individuals may suffer heat cramp after drinking large volumes of water when working in hot environment with no replenishments of the salts lost through sweating. The cramps, which occur in the muscles used for work, may start during or after work. Safety measures. It can be prevented by adequate intake of salt during meals. The consumption of salted liquids can relieve the symptoms. Circulatory hypostatic heat syncope. Blood pools in lower parts of the body when a person stands erect and immobile for long periods. If the person is unclimatized, this may lead to painting in hot environment. Safety measures. Treatment is simple. A person suffering from circulatory hypostatic heat syncope can recover by moving to a cooler area and resting in the prone position. Heat rash. Sweet glands may become black when a person is exposed continuously to humid heat and the skin is continually wet with an evaporated sweat. Safety measures. Heat rash can be avoided with proper hygiene amenities. Workers should have access to cool areas where the skin can dry and they should have facilities where they can wash off sweat. Chemical poisoning. Poisoning occurs when a certain amount of toxic material, even though it's natural or processed, gets into the body, thus harming the body. Safety measures. Pesticides, fertilizers should be stored in lit, sound, and secure structured. The place should be labeled, make sure that it has signage. Liquid chemicals should not be stored on shelves above powder. Chemicals should be stored in original container with label and according to label directions. Noise pollution. Noise pollution is also known as environmental noise or sound pollution. It is the propagation of noise with ranging impacts in the activity of human or animal life. Most of them are harmful to a degree. The source of outdoor noise worldwide is mainly caused by machines, transport, and propagation systems. Reducing exposure to excessive noise in the workplace can be accomplished in many different ways. First, locate the equipment in more isolated area. Second, try to run noise equipment early or late in the day when fewer people will be exposed and use personal hearing protection such as earplugs or earmuffs. Prepare appropriate tools, materials, and outfits in line with job requirements. One of the most important tasks of a farmer is to make sure that he uses the right tool that is appropriate to a specific job. You as a future farmer should know the different farm tools you will use when you are already farming as your occupation. The Personal Protective Equipment or the PPE not only helps protect people but also improves productivity. Farmers can benefit from using the appropriate protective equipment for themselves, family members, and workers when job and its potential hazards call for it. Choosing safe clothing or outfit for farm work. Wearing proper clothes to work can help prevent some injuries to the body. Heat-resistant farm outfits such as jackets, working pants, hat, and full body suit is often used to guard against heat. Number one, working clothes. When selecting clothes to wear to work, wear nothing that dangles, is untucked or tattered. Torso protection such as vests and jackets, apron, coveralls, and full body suits must be worn when working. Number two, caps or heads. Protective headgear such as safety hats and caps could prevent most head injuries common in agricultural work. Number three, hands and arms. Hands and arms are the most frequently injured part of the body on the farm. Wear gloves that match the job. Only sound, properly fitted gloves should be worn. Make sure that you have available gloves on hand. When gloves wear out, throw them away. Number four, feet, toes, and feet can be injured during farm work. Poorly fitting or improper footwear can cause slips, trips, or falls. Safety shoes should be worn every day. 
here are some examples of safety clothing or outfit for farm work. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.